New tonight, we examine law enforcement in terms of police officers who are no longer allowed to serve as police officers in Nebraska. This week, Omaha's police chief fired an officer for conduct unbecoming while asking the state to revoke the officer's law enforcement certificate. Brian Mastry is live in the newsroom with details on just how often this happens. Brian. Laura and John, on average, every given year, there are 4,300 active law enforcement officers in the state of the Nebraska, in the state of Nebraska. And then if you consider this, there are fewer than 10 every year who have their law enforcement certificate revoked. Omaha police officer William Cleese resigned this week, the same day he was supposed to talk to Internal Affairs about allegations of dumping garbage on a woman's car outside their apartment complex. The police chief said he would provide documentation to the Nebraska Crime Commission to see to it that his law enforcement certificate is revoked. So we wonder, how often does that happen? I would say it's less than 2% of all the officers. Brenda Urbanic is the director of the Law Enforcement Training Center in Grand Island. The state averages 4,300 active officers at any given time. She says those who lose their licenses, it's a small percentage. At the Police Standards Advisory Council meeting this morning, they voted to revoke an officer, and the case number was 220. So there's been approximately 220 officers over the course of almost 25 years who've had their certifications revoked. That comes to fewer than nine a year who lose their certification. And once a police officer is stripped from being a cop in Nebraska, that means he or she cannot be an officer anywhere in the U.S. There was other controversy earlier this month when Six News broke the story of a former Nebraska state trooper in trouble with the law again. His name, Brandon Dolezal. He's facing charges of sexually assaulting a 15-year-old girl in Omaha. Dolezal was fired from the state patrol last year, just three months after graduating from the academy, after investigators allege he had nude photos of a number of local teenage girls. That's a very interesting case. I've, I've sat here and wondered, Maybe we should do an autopsy of how this person got into the profession um, because the agency that he worked for does a very, very thorough background investigation, uh, subjects them to psychological evaluations. So the next question is how does Nebraska compare nationally where it's really not an apples to oranges comparison? Here's the problem. Every state does it differently. For example, John and Lauren, Georgia has been revoking law enforcement certificates for years. California just started last year. On your side in the newsroom, Brian Mastry, 6 News.